Good morning Uganda, good morning Africa. I'm Pastor Senyo Njovam Busve. I'm so happy to be here today with you. And I love it so much whenever you join us in this moment of morning prayer. I want to say sorry for those of you who have got problems. I know some of you have lost your beloved ones. Others have got problems in business. But always I remind you people that this is what we are supposed to go through as human beings. As long as you are still alive, you ever expect either joy, happiness or sorrow. But again, if God has granted you life so that you can even listen to what I'm saying now, what I'm talking, then that's another opportunity and another saying to show you that there is yet tomorrow. So may you grow stronger so that we shall be together. People of Vambusve Church, I love you so much. Uh, everyone who has been following always, I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel, Pastor Senyonjo Vambusve. That's the name of the channel, Pastor Senyonjo Vambusve. When you reach there, just subscribe so that you'll get notifications always and be with us as you join the teachings. Today, I want to talk about something very important. Following the fact that many people are going through a lot of hardships, killings, instant deaths, these things have been happening all the generation, but there is a moment when it goes beyond and it puts people on tiptoes. You find whenever people gather two, three, they are talking about who died, how he died. This week, last week, I have had very many accidents. All these people who are getting accidents, it's not necessarily that they are not caring. You can't say that they are getting it because they are careless. Because I saw a certain car, it got a flat tire. The tire just busted at once. And then he lost control. And then he went off-road, hit electricity pole, died instantly not because he's not careful but did things happen in life protection is one of the equipments if physical that god puts upon people and living creatures to live or to escape even at the time when there was worth death so even when something or an indicator could surely show that somebody is supposed to die because of this and this. When protection comes, death does not touch you. You need protection on the road as you are moving. This morning as I'm speaking to you, don't take it for granted. You need protection as you are in your office. You need protection at the time of delivery. Pregnant mothers... You need protection because you don't know what is going to happen to you at the time of labor. You need protection when you are taking children to school because you don't know what is going to happen on the way. You don't know what is going to happen at the school. Last time I saw some three, I don't remember whether they are three or four, People are sitting, they, they were sleeping. I don't remember whether they were sitting or sleeping in their house. And then a truck, Sino, came and hit the house. The people who were there died instantly. Yeah, they were school children. They have gone to school to study. They brought back home dead bodies. This is a point where I feel this week, as we are opening up the week like this, I don't want to take it for granted. May God protect your life. You have many plans. I recently I was reading a certain book and it was quoting that air transport is the secure one. You know, it has almost 99% security when you are using air you are safe. But even last week, I had an helicopter. Moreover, of army crashing. We have been hearing all the time aircrafts 
getting mechanical problems and they crash. Hundreds of people die. So in humanity or in life, there is no security beyond God. It's only him who says that let me protect this one. Let me protect this. That's why I told you as I was beginning that may God protect you. Uh, it, it, not only in Uganda, but all over the world. You can't say that because I have guns which are protecting me so I'm safe. Can even wake up in the morning when you are, die, you, you are dead. You can even uh, eat food when you are eating nyama, um, uh, chenyanja. And then the bone goes into your throat. You die. You can even be taking water. And then you die. This one reminds us that in fact, we are mortal. And we need ever to remember that as a warning that we should control our pride. Because his hand and his, his power is one to protect us. I want to send this message to the people who are worried that you are going to die because somebody is hunting for you. Please, your life is not there because you have been safe. You are there because somebody who put you in this generation is keeping you safe. You are not going to succeed in, uh, uh, on the road because you are safe or you are careful. You are going to succeed because you do your needful and then the creator who put you on this earth protects you. You don't know what is going to happen at the time of the, your labor. Because you are pregnant now eight and, uh, uh, and two weeks. Eight months and two weeks. You don't know what is going to happen in the labor world. But I want to tell you that put your, your memory in a platform of knowing that all the life that you had previously or even before has been granted to you because the creator decided you stay. Never be intimidated by who? Who is saying, I don't want that one to live. I don't want this one to succeed. Some of you are intimidated in houses. People say, I will break in and kill you. Some of you are intimidated with diseases as I speak. You are sick and the report is telling you that it is not easy for you to live for the next five years. They are telling you one year or six months. And therefore you are trembling of what is going to happen to you. But by the grace of God you are going to live. Because the protection that's fiery, the protection that's powerful is that one who, which comes from your creator. Allow me to send this prayer to you. The prayer of protection as you go out there. The hand of the Lord is going to be upon you. And I believe this week is going to be marvelous in your hands. Father, I thank you today because I believe that it is your power, your grace that I'm talking about protection. We have lost many people in accidents. We have lost many people in floods. We have lost people in landslides. We have lost many people of COVID-19, HIV, AIDS, cancer. Even as I speak, some people are in danger. But Lord, I call upon your protection for whoever is listening to this voice. I pray that the protection that you give to mankind will come and cover him up. I pray upon protection upon mothers who are pregnant right from the first day up to the time of delivery. I pray that you protect them. I pray that you protect the people who are having flights today. They are going to be in air for two hours, for 18 hours, for seven hours, for 10 hours. May you protect them. I send protection to you who are going to travel on roads. You are going to distances and you don't know what is going to happen. I pray that God protects you. As he protected his people all along, I pray that he protects you in offices. You people who are working with people with guns. You are working with people with arrows and bows. You are working with people who are dealing in those things which, is, uh, um, which can kill or destroy life. May God protect you. Teachers, doctors, and everybody. May God protect you. I pray that this week will be a week of blessing. Now and forever we pray. We go. I thank you so much. I'm Pastor Senor Jovan Please, this is the blessed day. Call me for prayer or for any kind of inquiries on 0752229680. WhatsApp me on 0782229680. We are in Nansana. 
when you reach at Nabwer Road, Nansana Nabwer Road, you ask Vambusve Church. They will direct you. I'm always in office on Wednesday. Please come and we share together one on one. And remember, we are in 60 days of daily prayer after work. Exactly five, come and join us in the fellowship. I love you so much. Sunday we have fellowship and every day. May God bless you. We meet next time.